to the, uh, the Christmas, December, all that jazz. Um, and it's a jazzy kind of December Christmas. Yes, it is. Very warm outside. It is. Um, we are going to talk about, we're, we're doing our annual tradition of talking about in December the Christmas episodes of Doctor Who. And this time we are going to talk about um, one of the, the, one of the, was this a Gap Christmas dresser? This, well, the, yeah, this was. This came out on Christmas. This yeah. is one yeah. of the, the uh, 2008 Gap yeah. Year specials. Yes, it was. Um, and, and this is the um, next Doctor. Um, next Doctor. This is Galway Pride Radio. I am your host, Debbie Bichon. I am joined by... Drew Meyer. Angela Pritchett. And she is wearing her awesome uh, snow dialect shirt. And Drew is wearing his coal shirt yet again. Yet again. Um, or for the first time, depending on what order we, we air these. Yes, it will be the first time. <laughs> and I'm wearing my uh, Doctor Who um, storage company um, I'm shirt. I'm the only festive one today. Yeah, wearing her blue and red. Oh, I got my oh, red sneakers snow, on. Snow, my red trainers. I have what may be blood or maybe paint on my hands. I'm, 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 I'm I think it's a mixture. It's a mixture. So, the next doctor. Yes, the next doctor. Very interesting episode. Um, but before I get into why it was why it was a very interesting episode, um, what did you? What were you guys' first opinions of the uh, next doctor? I like it. Um, you know, without going into too much detail over the other gap. Gap Year Specials. I think it's the second best of the Gap Year Specials. And uh, I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I really enjoyed this one. I know it was one of those things where I was like, wait a minute, what? And when I saw the, the stuff for it, I was like, oh, this is going to be different. No, no, crossing time streams. What? It was me being very confused before I watched it. I actually just found out that Tenet was leaving. Um, again, poor internet skills. Um, I just found out he was leaving. I had just seen the pictures of Matt Smith, and uh, I was confused as to why they were bringing in David Morrissey uh, to to be another doctor. So I, it, they got me. Well, I'll say this: um, this is one of my one of my more favorite of the Christmas specials. I I really do like it. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, and actually, you brought something up. I was going to bring up um, at the time they had just if you're if you're following it as the news came out. We had just found that he was definitely leaving. He wasn't going to stay for the Moffat run at all mm -hmm. um, because he was going back and forth on that a lot, David Tennant was. Um, and one of the things a lot of people were asking uh, uh, David, or not Tennant, or the, the guy who, who plays the, the doctor in this, the next doctor, um, was if he was going to be the one replacing Tennant. Mm -hmm. um, and they were sort of doing a jump ahead where he, he meets himself. Um, and he contract contractually could not say what his exact role as a doctor was until after it aired. Mm. Because, yeah, I mean, there was a chance that this guy could be our next doctor. Um, and they were doing some wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff here. And I, and I thought they um, pulled it off brilliantly. Because um, it is also one of the few times that we actually get to see some of the past incarnations of the doctor. Because Davies didn't do a lot of that in this run. No, it's, it's true. In fact, I, if, if I'm not mistaken, this is either the... It's definitely the first time you get all, at that point in time, nine previous doctors yeah. sh show up. That This one actually kind of puts that nail in that coffin. This is, in fact, yeah. continuity. Um, and I think the only other doctor that was shown previous to um, was him bumping into uh, Davison. Yeah. Um, and I can't remember if in the, um, oh, what is it, the where he turns human, the Paul Cornell one? Well, in the in, in I can't remember Family what, of Blood. Yeah, because you see some of the pictures of the Doctor in the book. You see them in the book, but they're yeah. not actual footage of, yeah. of the Doctors. Yeah, so you know. That. But yeah, I know. But I mean, this was like a, a real sort of, you know, solid proof. Besides the uh, the the children needs, um, which I heart, I heart that episode so the much. The time crash. Time crash. I love it so much. Um, but okay. Um, why did you why why did you guys like this episode so much? There's so much energy. There's, there's, yes, that's true. There's there is so a much lot energy. Of like, energy. You just start off and he's like, whoa, hey, you're going to say, I'm the doctor. No? What? Huh? So, I mean, it's just fun. And then he talks about his TARDIS. It's a hot air balloon. It's a it's, tethered aerial release uh, <laughs> developed in style. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. And so I just, I really enjoyed this episode. And I will say, when the next doctor showed up on The Walking Dead for that first episode, I was like, wait, 
where have I seen this man before? And I was like, oh crap! I saw him on Doctor Who. He plays the governor. Spoilers. Spoilers. That's not a spoiler. It's saying who an actor is. I haven't seen The Walking Dead. Um, but that's fine. Um, yeah. The third season, so it's not spoilers for a while. Telling you who a character's <laughs> actor is. You'll find that out just by going on the internet. All right. Uh, that being said, uh, why did I like it? Yeah. Um, there's a... I think the overall impression you get from Doctor Who is a, is kind of a message of hope. Yeah. And and um, you know I've I've told this to a lot of people who have said oh we can't get into Doctor Who I don't think it's you know one way or the other it's not not as good as shows like Breaking Bad and, and I haven't seen Breaking Bad <laughs> well look I, I haven't seen Breaking Bad so I can't that's some oh, depressing oh, show oh, right there I'll say that's all I got to say I mean Breaking Bad is a great show I love it but I don't love it the same reason why I love Doctor Who right and I think that was the point I was yeah. making is it's one of those shows is. There's not a lot of television that you can watch that a whole family can sit down and watch yeah, uh, I agree. at the same time. And I think ultimately Doctor Who is a show about about hope and friendship and honesty, and it has a good message, and it, it, you, you kind of leave it feeling good. Yeah. And that's what this episode, really, just the interactions between um, Morrissey and Tennant, they're really great. Unless it's a horribly heart-wrenching episode, then you leave it crying. Oh, and, oh, and, I, for, and I, for, I also forgot, guess who else is in this episode? Spider-Man. No. Andrew Garfield. No. Yes. No. What episode is Andrew, Andrew Garfield in then? He is in Daleks in Manhattan. Are you sure? I thought he was in this one too. <laughs> Damn it. Go go back and check. I, 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 I will happily... Someone didn't prepare for this I will happily. Uh, I will happily be corrected, um, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure... Because uh, I thought he was the kid at the very beginning. Uh, oh, you mean when he's he's... Asking if it's Christmas or not, something like that. Well, he might be, but I don't. I don't think so. I think. I think the only episode he's in is is in the two. Uh... You know, what? I don't actually want to talk about Dogs in Manhattan, I, which I will well, now say I think are the the two worst episodes in the entirety of New. Back new to the history. next Doctor. Yeah. So back to the next Doctor. And I will just say all the Tenant Christmas specials were all hokey and fun and goofy know. and. Yeah. Yeah. So I, agree. I mean, like you can hate it as much as you want, but. See, they're going, it's snowing! No, I that's just alien off. ashes. I keep so, failing. Okay, so back, back to, back to the, the, the next doctor. I give up. Um, <laughs> Someone didn't prepare, like I said. Uh, so, anyway. Um, uh, the next doctor. It's good. It's fun. Morrissey it's does a great fun. job. Go watch it if um, you haven't seen it, and uh, we probably just spoiled a ton for you. Wow. No, not really. Not too much yet. We haven't really said, you know... Well, I mean, so doctor. let's talk about Miss Hardigan. <laughs> she's hot. She like she's so hot. She's so hot. Um, she's not as hot, hot as Sexy Fish Vampire. And I wish I... <laughs> I, I, think, I think. Sexy Fish Vampire? You mean Malfoy's mom from Harry Potter? Is that who that is? Yeah. yeah she's hot. She's gorgeous. And um, I, I don't know what the actress's name... I don't know how to pronounce the actress's name. I'm pretty sure it's Irish. It's like... Dervogea or Darvla or something like that. Um, but she's a pretty lady, which I feel bad saying because she has an am her character is really, really amazing when when looked at as, as how women are treated in that society. Mm -hmm. So here she's this strong character who's who's out to get men. Um, and I feel with like they her do Iron Giant with her that's Iron what Giant. Me of. Yeah, it yeah, no, I so agree. much of the Iron Giant from the animation for it. Sure. I would say that this is um, the first. Do I want to say that? It feels like kind of the first steampunky episode since uh, the '96 movie. Um, I I was I was gonna bring that up. I I definitely I can agree with you on that. It feel it definitely has a steampunk feel to it. Yes. Um, uh, which is one of the reasons probably I liked it very early on. Um, Cybermen, pretty cool. Yeah, Wish. even though they were the crappy cyber I, Cybermen. I, I, yeah, okay, so I think that the real, the, the, uh, the rationalization is that they had been in, um, what is, what is the, the last Rose episode, um, not End of Days, uh, not Bad Wolf, ah, oh, brain, not working, um, mm -hmm. uh, whatever the final Rose episode is in the, the, the 
Daleks and the, the Cybermen get sucked time into the, again. The, the time the void. thing and they get shunted back out. Um, that, to me, again, that would have been the perfect time to show us some old, yeah. old Cybermen. Um, and I like the Cyber King, uh, though my rational science brain um, just goes, where were they hiding that thing? <laughs> it is 300 stories high. And the Thames, to my knowledge, mm -hmm. is not that deep. And it just cries, <laughs> whoa! But it's a transformer. It is a transformer. It flattens, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a barge. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it kaleidoscopes up. Um, it was a bridge. So yeah, Jackson Lake. Yeah. I, 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 I would have been very happy, I think, at that time to have had a Doctor Who who didn't know who he was. Who um, maybe part of the Doctor's first season is is understanding who the Doctor is. Now I know yeah. that I have said that I think, and I'm sticking to this my current theory that Matt Smith's the, who asked who asked the final question might actually be um, uh, Matt Smith asking about himself, and for some reason maybe he erases himself from history. But oh, that's a different story. Um, he said flailingly, um, but I, I liked Blake. I thought he was a really cool character. Um, and I, I could have seen that show. I could have seen that show. I actually could have. I could. I could foresee how they actually could go about. No, I foresee envision. Yes. How they would actually go, go forward with that. My brain is so fuzzy right now. <laughs> yeah, my work tried to kill me with pine, so I'm gonna chalk all my faux pas up tonight. Yes. To that. You have pine brain. I have pine brain. Pine brain, not. It's never yeah. good. No. Yeah. So, was there anything we didn't like about this episode? Um, Even the cyber... Did you guys like the cyber monkeys? Or gorillas, or oh, whatever they the are? Oh, the cyber or, shades. Or, or cyber bears, whatever the hell they want to call yeah. them. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I think I would have been... I like them, yeah, because I, I like the idea... And Oh, God. We're delving into another tangent here, but I'll, I'll try to make yeah. this quick. I liked them for the same reason that Aliens 3 is my favorite Aliens movie. In that I like the idea that you can take a pre-existing okay. idea and twist it in that the Cybermen don't have to just take over human beings. Yeah. However, that being said, um, Tenet refers to them maybe having the brains of a dog or a cat. Except one of them can drive a carriage. Like uh, Mrs. Hardigan's um, Mer Mercy. Mercy Hardigan's uh, driver for the carriage is, is Cybershade. I like the idea. It was fine. Part of the scientist in me wants to see that transformation sequence of them putting a cat brain into, <laughs> into a monkey body and going forward. Um, again, that being said, I'd like to see them. I actually would, wouldn't mind seeing them again. Or a, some version of them in, in maybe, who knows, a uh, Neil Gaiman episode involving the Seven Men. Be pretty awesome. Um, so how would you rate this Christmas special, uh, against the others? Uh, against all of the others? Yeah, against all the others. Hmm. I would give this one probably like a three and a half or a four, just because... No, 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 I know. Where, where do you rate it? You know... Oh, uh, against the others. I don't against think the it's the worst. I don't think it's the worst either. I think this one is right below the Matt Smith ones for me. Well, I like. I, I still, I still, I love Voyage of the Damned. I think it would probably be tied with. Oh that God, one. I forgot Voyage of the Damned. Yeah. I completely forgot about that one. So, uh, and then the other, the other tenant ones are, would be under those two. Um, this so. is, I think, probably my favorite of the tenants. Um, definitely. Hmm. Wow. Where did okay? Wait, where did Voyage of the Damned fall? Um. In regards to, was it in between season three and four? I think that was the one right before this one, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was the year before. Because it's so. right no, after, no. okay, we have, it goes uh, Christmas Evasion, the one with the star with Donna, um, then it goes season this, three, season four, this one. Right at the end of the season, yeah. it runs into the Titanic. Yeah, Titanic, and then this one. Gotcha. And then the yeah. one I do not speak of. The which Christmas one? slash New Year's episode. Oh, <laughs> end of time. Right. Yeah. Um, hmm. hmm. 
Well, if we're talking Christmas specials, um, The Christmas Carol with Matt Smith is my absolute favorite Christmas episode, and possibly, with the exception of Blink, maybe my favorite Doctor Who episode. Uh, really? Doctor Who, yeah. But, you know, that's, that's, yeah, that's another. A, yeah, that's another. I didn't like this previous year's Christmas episode. Um, I didn't actively hate it. Yeah. Um, I just felt it was meh. So I actually would rate this one above um, the the Doctor the, the Widow in the Wardrobe. Um, with Voyage of the Damned, it had its moments, but it wasn't all that great. Christmas Invasion, probably a little higher than that. And End of Time, yeah, no, I don't want to speak of that. Oh, don't, don't worry, we, we'll talk about that one soon enough. We should drink for that one. We should we should just get some egg some eggnog and and talk about. Well, we we would, have we would to, need a better place to film. For we that would one have then. to have a better place to film. We can't I'm really not film saying we could film here. They don't know where here is, and we probably shouldn't <laughs> say it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying. Yeah, we'd have to do. Actually, I know where we could film that episode. I'm pretty sure the Sinclairs would let us film at their place for that one. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. if not, we can always go to the Irish pub down the road. I'm pretty sure they're not that busy on a Monday night. But there you go. So. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, we'd have to film this on another, another night, a weekend night. Oh, I'm not saying we do it tonight. <laughs> no, no, I'd have to drink heavily for that one. Yeah. Um, so I could be kind. Um, no, this, this, I think this one rates high overall for me. I just, I really like this one. Um, what else did we, did we not cover? I, I feel like I, uh, I think I think we really covered this one. What do you honestly? What do you, since you're since you're the big costumer and you know steampunker, what do you think about the steampunk influences in this episode? Well, not just the steampunk, all the the Victorian influences. All the outfits are gorgeous. Like her dress. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh! And and actually, and his his the the next doctor's outfit and everything. Just they're all so oh, pretty. What is her bot? There there is a, there's a hoobie and um. I think if I remember her name correctly, is Jen Wood. She does an incredible red dress. Well, there was one at Timegate a few years ago. That yeah, that's was really, that's really that's really Jen. Nice. Yeah, it was yeah. really pretty. That's cool. Yeah, she did an incredible um, uh, red doctor. Well, uh, here's the thing: red dress. You can guarantee that if it's a period piece in a Victorian <laughs> or Edwardian time, it's going to look good because that's what the BBC does better than anything yeah. else. They're like production value. Here's our costume closet. It is. Probably cheaper. We don't have a lot of money. We'll just do a period piece. Yeah, it's probably cheaper <laughs> to do those episodes because they you know they have the, have the sets. Right? You know they have the costumes. So yes, I thought the ending was of this one was. Wait, are you telling me people in England really don't dress like that now? Well, I mean, it's true that they all live in <laughs> castles. Yes, <laughs> they all live in castles, and they all drink tea at four p.m. every day. And they all eat Jimmy do je je Jelly Dodgers and, and, and Jelly Babies. And oh, I had a Jamie Dodger that was amazing, they, by the way. Yes. Um, yeah, Whole Foods Jamie Dodger. Oh, since we're talking uh, England right now, uh, congratulations to Kate and William. Uh, they're expecting. Oh, they're expecting, yeah. They're expecting. Um, and the bidding pool's already going if it's going to be a boy or a girl. Our culture is sick. I don't so know. Dumb. I think How far I, think, I think Harry needs a um, the, the, Very soon. the Iron Throne from like the Game of Thrones. No, no, no. Like they just found out she was yeah. pregnant. So yeah. I, I think we need to get Prince Harry the the throne from Game of Thrones. Since but okay. Oh, oh seeing that he's now one now further removed. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Right. So um, anything else? Anything else we want to talk about the next Doctor? Uh, so we can wrap this bad boy up. We haven't seen it yet. We should <laughs> probably go watch it's it. It's still on Netflix, people. It is. It is. And there's truthfully, only one new the specials, isn't on Netflix. The specials box set isn't that expensive, and it has tons of Christmas specials in it. Most of the holiday specials from Kevin's one. Well, yeah, it's the that the, the special year. Box set. Yeah. Uh, the... Oh God of Death. What was that? <laughs> Desert death? of Death, Land of Death, Planet of Planet of Death. Planet of Death is the only. Planet of the Dead. Planet of the Dead is the only <laughs> new Who. Easter special. That is not I love that on, on Netflix. That's, I love that that's an Easter special, too. It's like, mm. oh. other bug things. So, um, this is Easter. GPR. <laughs> Just, let's do this. Uh, signing off before we do anything else that's too horrible. Okay, so, peace. Merry Christmas! Christmas.